Yeah, greetings and greetings and greetings and welcome to the breakdown, guys. With DJ Odyssey, as obvious. So, yeah, man, it's another day. I know it's a cold day, but hey, man, I wanted to look fresh, you know, just wanted to look all black and everything. Yeah, so now, uh, today I just wanted to do another tutorial on vocals, but uh, it's like now we're finding the key of the vocals. Um, reason being that it's that uh, I did the tutorial just a few days ago where we find the, the BPM and then the key so but I didn't necessarily get into the key as such so now I've decided you know what let me get into the key because some of you are asking me about the key and then so now without wasting time you know I need to just get into this so that we can we can do something and then so now i'll try to find like a nice vocal not like now i'm just looking for a vocal just a short vocal and then we're gonna try finding the key so i'll tell you how you can find the key on fl studio um one let's get this it's this this is like a little vocal inside my sample pack. So it's on one. So since it's on 125, I can still put it on 125. So I put the BPM on 125 and then let me load this. So yeah, so I got this. I can just make sure it's like that. I like to make sure everything is fine. So I put the metronome on and then Alright. Um that's how the vocal sounds. Um it's a bit loud, but for now let's just deal with this. So it's a lot of vocal and then we're trying to get at least a key of the song of the of the vocal and then I got a little, so I'm not even gonna look at what I wrote over there. I will try to come up with it there, with the key, without me looking over to that. So, one of the main ways to do that is to come to this thing here, and then say you come to, let's say, edit sample. So what we're gonna do is try to so you see now it overlaps over here but i need the four bars for now so i'm just gonna do this and then just come here and say let's say trim fine we have this and from here you can right click on this and come to tools and then convert to score but before you do that let's say we load let's let's kind of load maybe i love sample tank people don't get me wrong i'll just load sample tank i'll put you can put anything just that i'm just trying to get like a nice piano and then so i got this piano so this piano will work fine with me it's nice so now we're going to come here and say tools and then I say convert to score and dump to piano roll. So now it has found the score of the song, right? And then let's see how it sounds. So what it does, it, what it does, it makes sure that it plays the same way as the vocal. So it created a MIDI out of uh, the vocal and everything. So now that you have something like this, you can just quantize it because you're just looking for the key. So by 
as you can already tell like but we don't have these on the vocal i think uh let's try to reduce the vo volume of the vocal and play and play with the vocal <laughs> one way of getting the vo of getting the the key so if i was to just cut this right and put it onto this sample this empty sample here and then maybe i want to find like a nice cut to go with this so you already see what this thing is at you know you just look at these you know where it's playing it's playing on these black ones and then it's playing on this it's playing on this one it's also playing on this so if i was to put it i can say so i think i might do this i'll just show you something so um i want to try find some cuts out of this so i can see it's playing over here so it means if i choose this it's gonna be like a major and it's gonna be like this All right for now i'm just speculating i'm not i'm not really i'm just speculating i'm playing with the mouse and then i see something so let's take it a little bit octave high and then because it's this one i can put this here and then well it's not working but you know what it said i think i like this take it this far I think I like this and then so if I put it here it can become like this this could even go higher like that on key but it's not 100 percent on key um i can even come here as much as i can so you just do what you can to actually find the right key of the song i think i like how it sounds now So now you have the key of the song fast now you you can see where your vocals are playing most of the time and that it gets you that and again also gives you like the idea of uh what's that the idea where you can hear how the vocals go and you can just maybe pull something like expand on top of them put expand on top of uh the the rhythm that goes with your vocal um like maybe say like some kind of a mallet or bell or something uh, i don't know which one i can choose i say anything you know and just play around and then this year
hear what it does you already have something that can go with your with your song you can even use a lead if you want to hey man i think i'm taking too long to explain this thing i could have just done it within five minutes or something but i'm trying to make you guys understand where i'm coming from and then where this thing is going and i hope you you see what i mean um I say a lead and then because sometimes what a lead does is it's like it's like a little vocal that plays behind and then so if you have a vocal like this and you don't want to use that vocal and you want to have a lead instead you can have a lead playing like this so now you have the key and then you have something else that can actually replace the vocals if you don't want to use the vocals anymore or you want to have a way to you can mess up with the vocals so that you, they don't you know they, they don't sound as hard as they sound now and you can actually have a nice sounding song and then another way to actually do what i just did again um uh, let's say we put another let's just say another expand you know i want the software is going to be too fast the plugin that's going to be fast enough to load and let's say another lead uh choose like a soft lead here and i use this and then now again you can do this and then um what you do with this uh it's you have to find a way to send it into what do we call this into pitch correct sample and then it can get into new tone so i'll play this so you can see that these ones are not even necessary um so now that you can see like ah this is not necessary you can you can even remove these but anyway you see how it looks um what you can do on top of this as well this also sends midi so you have this you can just click it and then it goes into the the piano roll again then we can have another thing going <laughs> So it they, they both work the same way you just send audio it's just they convert audio into midi like that and then from there you get to see where your song is actually is most of the time and then that's where you can actually put your chords when you make your music i think that explains a lot um another way to find your key because we're trying to find the key and we're trying to convert audio into midi yeah, these are the two things in this tutorial convert audio into midi or find the key of the song so now we have converted to midi now sometimes now it's like okay fine now i need to find them in the, the you want to find the key of the song just by looking at it or something and then you can just go back into edison and say edit sample and then we have detect pitch regions right it will show you, you know, d sharp f sharp g sharp if you write them down they can actually give you a nice thing like it will, if you have a chart there's a chart with what the c major which keys you press when you print c major c minor all those type of things so you can put them down you can look at the chart and look at all the keys that have been used in this vocal 
but most of the time they're just coming back over and over and then you get to get all the seven notes seven keys i think do re do seven do re mi fa so la ti do so seven because it's do again so it's like seven so all these seven now it's only seven things that you have to find out and it's not gonna be all of them here but once you find the six then you find and then that's when you can actually find out which scale you are on take note the scale that you are on so yeah man i've been talking for too long i think that's what explained that's how you explain the whole thing and then so as you can see there's not much difference between this and this you see like the the keys are almost the same they're the same but it means the scale is the same and then so you can actually play around and actually and actually have this <laughs> So it also tells you that you can actually sing then convert the audio into midi like you can sing a little note on top of your beat and then convert that um that audio into midi and actually have a nice lead on the song especially for people that like, for people that like to do things like r b uh even deep house you know you need some some sounds that you know are so smooth and everything so you can just <laughs> And then from that, you become that guy, you know. Yeah, I think that sums up the the tutorial for today. And then for some people, uh, one of the comments again, thanks for that as well. Um, I think it was DJ Bolt. I think Bolt. Yeah. Uh, another thing about it is, yes, you can use. Um, things like Visual DJ, Serato. If you put the original song inside, they will write down the key of the song, and then you will know where you are. And then you can play around. If you find a chart that shows you which keys to press on a certain scale, then you, then you know the scale of the song, and you can play around those those keys in that scale, and then you can come up with some nice chords, some nice melodies. Everything will be dope. And then I think, yeah, I think that sums up everything that I was supposed to do for this tutorial. And I've been talking for too long. And thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Let's reach 5K, people. You know, we've been moving slowly lately. I know I've been stalling too. So now I'm back. Small tutorials and we're on. We are, I'm back. I'm seriously back. And people, my name is DJ Odyssey, and these are my cuts. Mm -hmm.